In terms of your day-to-day, -day, I've worked with you before, I've known you for a long time, and I know that you are, you like to accomplish, mm -hmm. and you have a very perfecting mind when you're looking at things <laughs> in the greatest way possible. But then you also have this ease about you. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about leadership style and kind of how you encourage people to, to also be as scrutinizing of, as their own stuff, but not in a way that micromanages them or throws off uh, a balance of like happiness in the work they're doing. Yeah, that's important. So I would say my leadership philosophy is, is backbone and heart. So you have to have both as a leader. You, you can't just be a, a mean, hard driving taskmaster and think that you know, you're going to rally the troops because they hate you so much that they're going to bond over their hatred of you. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work. And then being all heart and all empathy, sympathy and nice and friends and all that stuff, that doesn't work all the time. As a leader, you have to have backbone and heart. Um, so talking a little bit about heart, I, um, I'll share a story. That my, a lesson that my mom taught me when I was like a teenager. Uh, so in my house, I grew up in Virginia, and we had a fireplace on this side, a chimney on the side of our house, like a real chimney that that burned wood and the smoke came came out of it, and that Santa Claus could come down like a real chimney, no, big chimney. Flips. Not switch. the oh, not wow. the yeah. It was a real chimney, <laughs> and coming off of that chimney outside was a sloping grass hill. And so I would, I would uh, kick a soccer ball against the chimney and then it would roll down to me and I would kick it again and just rinse and repeat. It was the funnest thing. No, not the funnest thing I did as a child because I, I had a better childhood than that. <laughs> but it was fun. It was super fun. But on the other side of that wall was our den. I don't know if we have dens out here in the West, but in Virginia we have dens. It sounds really like... We would call it a living room. Okay. <laughs> so on that wall, there's a shelf, and on that shelf, there's a plate, a decorative plate on a little easel, and it was a collector's George Washington plate. And I didn't know this, but every time I kicked the ball, that plate would, would, you know, through vibration, make it closer and closer to the edge. And one day it fell off and it broke. And this is my mom's George Washington collector's plate. So, you know, what do you think happened? there you know ask the ask the audience you know what do you what do you think happened what would a typical um, mother do it's not what my mother did uh, i didn't even find out about it for a number of days or weeks and so she didn't run out and scream at me and say you know how could you do this uh, it was days or weeks after that i even found out that it broke and it just kind of came up and i was like mom why didn't you tell me about this and she said because people are more important than things. Isn't that good? Yeah, that's really good. I mean, it, it stuck with me uh, all this time, forever, and it always will, is that people are more important than things. So if you're at work and there's a project and there's a deadline or something doesn't get executed correctly or somebody makes a mistake, guess what? People are more important than things. And you have to keep that in mind because it's just, it's not fair to, to come down so hard when um, there needs to be kindness and leniency. Because, I mean, and if you do, it, it burns bridges. And ideally, you're working with these people for many, many years. And you just can't afford to have that loss of trust. Mm -hmm. So that's hard. But backbone is equally as, as essential as a leader. You just can't be the heart way all the time. There has to be accountability and you have to make tough decisions and stick with them. Um, they're not always popular, but you do your best making the best decisions that you can for the company and you, you stick with it.